loved Queen's Gambit and the relationship between Alma and Beth was endlessly fascinating to me. It was both like warm and genuine and yet almost felt like casual and transactional in a way. Um, so <laughs> that's true. What, what was that dynamic like for you? And what was it like building the mother daughter bond with Anya? You know, the thing about both Alma and Beth is there's these very lonely characters who haven't had anybody to really trust in many, many years. And so they kind of find each other at this moment in time. They're like two feral animals let out of their cages who then spend a while kind of sniffing each other out to decide if they're worthy. Um, and it takes a while. I liked that the relationship actually took a while to build and it's not just simple or easy and it's not just with only purely good motivations. You know, Alma definitely sees the opportunity in Beth that she could make some money and that her life could be more comfortable if they kind of pursue this chess thing. But there's real affection there too. In so many ways, Beth is the exact thing that Alma needs and Alma is the exact thing that Beth needs. They just don't know it. It's sort of, they sort of become the love of each other's lives and they, um, and they provide something that doesn't look like a traditional mother daughter relationship, right. but that is really what they each need. I love that. Um, I also love how there's almost like a parallel or I don't know if it's a parallel, maybe it's, maybe it's like oppositional um, of Alma's own struggle with mm. addiction or at least leaning yeah. on outside factors for her own emotional well-being. How do you approach that as an actress and then also bounce off of? You know, I think the thing that's interesting about the character of Beth is she has these role models of women that are pretty flawed. She has her own mother who's died, um, and had serious mental illness issues. And then she has me who has these abuse, you know, substance abuse issues. I'm clearly an alcoholic and very unhappy. But I also had a dream of being a pianist one day that was never fulfilled. So she can also see all of the pain and the ways in which she doesn't want to become me. She doesn't want to become her mother. So she has to forge her own path. Um, for me, you know, it wasn't a huge stretch. It was like alcoholic housewife fifties. Got it. Um, no, <laughs> uh, no, but it was, um, it was, a she, she was a fun character. The, the best characters to play are ones who are really complex, who have deep seated emotion behind their choices. And Alma is somebody who comes to the world with a lot of pain and, I could relate to her and feel her and imagine what it was would be like to be a woman born in a different era who couldn't fulfill her dreams, um, who's locked in a loveless marriage and feels so constrained by the era and the expectations on her. Um, so all of those were really fun to play with. Yeah, and she was a wonderful character. Um, also, she gets to learn a lot about uh, chess while she's <laughs> watching uh, Beth play. So was there anything surprising that you learned or something that made you see the game differently? Well, thankfully, Alma isn't supposed to know that much about chess and I don't know that much about chess. And I think that's what's so impressive about the series is even if you don't know anything about chess, you are so invested in the game of chess by the end of the series. You don't have to know the game to really get emotionally invested in the journey, um, which I didn't um, truthfully, I didn't know if they were going to be able to pull off, but they really right. pulled it off. Um, and no, I, I'm learning about chess slowly. My five-year-old has been, before the quarantine was joined a chess class in our neighborhood in Brooklyn. And my husband was learning to play so that they could play against each other. Um, I haven't really taken it up, but you know, there's time now with the rest of this quarantine. It's right. not ending anytime soon. So I think it's time for me to really kind of yeah. try to learn. I think the show is going to inspire me to try to learn. So yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. It was wonderful to My see pleasure. you in the series. You too. Have a great day. Hey.